become a good communicator. Introduction. Effective communication is an indispensable skill in today's fast-paced and interconnected world. Whether it be for personal or professional reasons, being a good communicator is crucial for expressing oneself clearly, building strong relationships, and achieving success in any field. While some people may possess natural communication abilities, becoming a good communicator is a skill that can be developed and honed. In this essay, we will explore the key strategies and principles necessary to become a good communicator. Body Firstly, a good communicator must focus on developing active listening skills. Listening attentively to others is the foundation of effective communication. It involves being fully present in a conversation, paying attention to verbal and nonverbal cues, and genuinely attempting to understand the speaker's perspective. Active listening demonstrates respect, empathy, and a willingness to engage. By practicing active listening, one not only absorbs information accurately, but also creates an atmosphere of mutual understanding and trust. Furthermore, a good communicator recognizes the importance of clear and concise speaking skills. It is crucial to convey thoughts, ideas, and emotions in a coherent and understandable manner. Utilizing simple and concise language, avoiding jargon and unnecessary complexity, enriches the conveyance of messages. Also, organizing thoughts beforehand, focusing on the main points, and using examples or visual aids when necessary can make communication more effective and memorable. Another aspect of becoming a good communicator is the ability to adapt one's communication style to different situations and individuals. Recognizing that people have diverse communication preferences and needs is paramount. Some individuals prefer a straightforward approach, while others may respond better to a more supportive and indirect style. Being adaptable and attuned to these variations can facilitate effective communication and build stronger connections with others. Moreover, nonverbal communication plays a crucial role in effective communication. A good communicator understands the importance of body language, facial expressions, and tone of voice. These factors can either emphasize or contradict the verbal message being conveyed. Maintaining eye contact, speaking confidently and clearly, and using appropriate gestures are key aspects of nonverbal communication that contribute to effective communication. Lastly, emotional intelligence is essential for being a good communicator. Emotional intelligence involves recognizing, understanding, and managing one's emotions and those of others. By being aware of one's emotions and expressing them appropriately, a communicator can foster trust and create a safe space for open dialogue. Furthermore, being empathetic towards others' emotions and accepting different perspectives allows for better understanding and effective communication. Conclusion Becoming a good communicator is a lifelong journey that requires conscious effort and continuous learning. Active listening Clear speaking skills, adaptability, awareness of nonverbal communication, and emotional intelligence are the key principles that pave the way towards becoming an effective communicator. By embracing and practicing these principles, individuals can improve their ability to express themselves, understand others, and develop stronger and more meaningful connections in both their personal and professional lives. I hope this video is more useful for you to become a good communicator for your workplace or company. Thanks!